This is the first video, first of four, for the ERP SIM production process. And this video will cover the sales forecast. So just realize that this is following some of the information that is in the textbook, the ERP SIM SAP Labs and Textbook, third edition. It also presumes that you have some SAP experience. And your experience might be SAP Labs one through three. It might be a manufacturing game or two. So just realize some SAP experience is expected before you do these videos. And these videos are meant to be watched in order. There are four videos. This is the first. Make sure you watch the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. These videos are more functional in nature. So it's, it's kind of you know, pressing buttons. The strategy part of this is in other videos. So just realize that this is really more so teaching you the functional part of this, the, the tasks themselves. So it's not really getting into the strategy. And also note, this is using the SAP GUI with no Fiori options, no Fiori enhancements. This is kind of like using the SAP ECC system. So the sales forecast and really the production process in general is strategic in nature. The sales forecast is at the base of a good strategy. When I have students in my class who have gotten through several games of the, the manufacturing game, if they ask me a question along the lines of, we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing wrong. We, we don't understand why we don't have profit. The first thing I say is, let's check your sales forecast. So this video is functional in nature, but I want you to realize that it's a strategic decision. Your sales forecast is strategic in nature. So this is the first place I look when a student group is, is struggling in one way or another. Why is this strategic? Well, realize within the manufacturing game that you have expenses. There are daily expenses that are building up, just like in real life. And the only way then to have profit is to have revenue. You, you start out with no inventory. The only way to have revenue, the only way to have sales, is from production. So a, a good production strategy means you have more revenue. A poor production strategy equals low revenue or low profit. So the strategy on the sales forecast, and there's more about this within the textbook. Make sure you read through it for discussion on how to get started with it. But just realize, again, on round one, day one, you have no inventory. You have 12 possible finished products, six products, two different sizes. Which of those 12 do you choose? How much of each product do you manufacture? Again, this is strategic in nature. So with no inventory, no historical sales data, which do you choose and how much? Now, getting into this, we've been talking about the forecast, but what is the forecast? What does it mean? This, is, this definition is unique to the ERP SIM manufacturing game. And what I, what I mean by that is not necessarily that no other manufacturer in the world uses it. It's just, this is specific to ERP SIM. So just make sure you realize that you're applying it to the manufacturing game itself. This, the sales forecast is roughly how much you intend to sell from MRP run to MRP run. Essentially, from manufacturing planning to manufacturing planning, how much do you expect to sell? It gets complicated, so this video, again, it's going to end up being more functional in nature. More so, we're just going through pressing buttons showing you how it works. But again, realize it is definitely strategic in nature and can be quantified. So again, this is button pushing. I'm going to show you how to work through this, the more so from a task perspective. But again, if, you, if you're working through the manufacturing game and you have low profit, low company valuation, some questions to ask. What's your sales forecast? Why did you choose those products? Of the 12, why did you choose those? And why did you choose that amount for your sales forecast? So these are some things to ask yourself, ask your team, why do we have the forecast that we have if we're not getting the profit or the company valuation we're looking for? So again, this is button pushing. Don't feel like you have to memorize any of this. You will be provided with the ERP SIM manufacturing game job aid. The entire production process is part of that job aid. And the job aid also gives you some of the game parameters, details, and all that stuff is on the job aid. So let's get started within this. So the first thing we have is the SAP GUI. You would have been provided with the server, the client, a user ID, and the temporary password. And then let's get the job aid here. 
it's this is on the job aids, the top left corner, it's forecast sales. This goes by many different names. So it's I refer to it as the sales forecast. It's also called called create planned independent requirements. But just realize it is this transaction code MD61. So type it in here in the command field, MD61, and follow in the job aid. Select product group, then enter dollar sign dollar sign dash F. Product group. And the dollar sign is always the company letter you've been assigned, and I'm using company code Z. So for me, it's ZZ-F. Then this means click Enter. So you can actually click the Enter button, or you can click the Enter, the check mark here. And then you'll see. So Enter forecasted quantities in the second date column. So we'll always be in this column here. And this column is next month relative to today's date. So it is currently September 12th. That means next month is October. So if it's in October, it's in November. So it's always column two. You don't need to worry about which month it is. Just realize it's always column two relative to today's actual date. So it doesn't matter which round we're in. It doesn't matter how long it's taken us to do this. It's always column two. So enter forecasted quantities in the second date column. These are our material codes. So it's ZZF01 through F06 and F11 through F16. If you're not sure which one's which, it's on the job aid. So you can see that this one, the, uh, the nut muesli, the 500 gram nut muesli is F01, column two. F11 is the one kilogram. So each one of these is represented on the job aid. So if you're not sure which one you're working with, look at the job aid. Using the textbook, and again, all this information is within the section on the sales forecast. The starting forecast, the recommended starting forecast is 37,000. And read the textbook if you'd like to see a bit more about that. And I am just randomly picking six different products. So I put 37,000 into these six. It doesn't say this within the job aid here. So it's enter forecasted quantities in the second column and then click save. I always 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 recommend you click enter and what that does is it formats it so you can see 37,000 all the way through i'll sometimes have students who accidentally do something where they want to do 150,000 and they add an extra zero oops <laughs> 1.5 million uh sap will allow you to do large numbers like that it's not going to stop you just realize click enter beforehand you can see the commas and you can see where things are okay so we have gotten into the the, uh, the sales forecast, the planned independent requirements. I have 37,000 for six products. Second date column, click save. Requirement saved. That's it for the sales forecast. That's all you have to do. And again, remember that this is very strategic in nature. So be ready to work on strategy with it, but it is literally that simple.